Good morning, good afternoon and good evening to all Denarians on the go and in the know. Like subscribe, and share with your fellow Denarian friends. To help support our channel we now accept tips using the blockchain based Brave Browser and BAT tokens, it makes a huge difference and is very much appreciated. To those of you that made a contribution, I sincerely thank you very much. If you are interested in making a few extra bucks by using the latest technology, use the blockchain-based Secure Brave browser. Also, if you have not done so yet, pick up your free trial copy of the Currency Exchange Planner, voted the number one exchange planner in the Dinar community. Both the links to the Brave browser as well as the Currency Exchange Planner are below this video. First article of interest for today. The central bank determines the percentage of fees charged to banks. The central bank of Iraq, on Tuesday, directed banks and financial institutions to commit to meeting the commissions prescribed by its transactions. The bank said in a statement received by Eye of Iraq News that all banks and financial institutions have an obligation to fulfill the commissions previously determined by their transactions, which are as follows 1. Purchase commission through points of sale free of charge. 2. Cash withdrawal commission through points of sale, 0.006 of the amount, a minimum, 2,000 Iraqi dinars, or 6,000 dinars per 1 million Iraqi dinars, and if the amount of 333,000 dinars is withdrawn or less, then the lowest commission applies and amounts to, 2,000 Iraqi dinars. 3. Cash withdrawal commission through the ATM. 0.004 of the withdrawn amount, the lowest commission, 1,000 Iraqi dinars, e, 4,000 Iraqi dinars per 1 million dinars, and in the event of withdrawing an amount of 250,000 Iraqi dinars or less apply the lowest commission is, 1,000 Iraqi dinars. Next article of interest, Deputy, the 2020 budget will be completely changed according to the new government program. The deputy of the Al Fath Alliance, Ahmed Al Kanani, confirmed on Tuesday that the draft budget for 2020 will be changed significantly after the government of Mohammed Tafiq Alawi obtained confidence, indicating that the next government is determined to provide a government program. Al Kanani said in a statement to Information that the 2020 budget has not been approved yet because of the resignation of the government as well as the political dispute over its details. al Kanani added, The next government will rearrange and change the draft budget according to its next government program, which Parliament will vote on in the coming days. On the presence of a bloc opposed to the selection of independent ministers in Alawi's government, al Kanani indicated that Alawi will succeed in passing his government in the event of selecting independent ministers without the need for the Kurdistani Democrat or parties from the Union of Forces. Next article of interest. Sources for al Saba. The designated president has completed his ministry and government program. Designated Prime Minister Mohammed Tafiq Alawi who has confirmed private sources to al Saba that he has completed his cabinet and government reforms program while awaiting the extraordinary parliament session, insists on choosing his cabinet ministers himself, and during his meeting with the political blocs, he requested unconditional support, and warned that, the failure of the government means the failure of the Iraqi political system after 2003 in full. While the alliance called on the prime minister designate to not respond to the pressures imposed on him to name ministers from political parties and blocs, and private sources revealed to Al Saba that prime minister designate Mohammed Tafiq Alawi is waiting for setting a date for a parliamentary session to give confidence to the formation of the ministers of the transitional government, explaining that the ministerial formation and the government reforms program are complete and that Alawi has informed the presidency of the House of Representatives accordingly. Next article of interest. After leaking it, close to Alawi reveals the truth about the names of his cabinet. A source close to the Prime Minister designate, Mohammed Tafiq Alawi, confirmed on Tuesday that the latter did not inform anyone of the names of his ministers in the new government booth, indicating that he had contacted 22 candidates for the ministries including two defense and interior ministers. 
the source said in a statement to Ash Arkal Asset newspaper that, the names that were leaked and which were said to be part of the government formation are never correct, noting that, Allah we did not share the names of the closest people to him with the names of those he chose as ministers, and their number is among 22 ministers among the dozens of names who either he had interviews with them or contacts, especially for those outside Iraq who were content to send their kids to him. He added that, the cabinet has been completed and there is no truth to what is rumored in some media outlets that it consists of 16 ministers until now, or that it has not yet been decided by the security ministries, which are the defense and the interior. On the specific time for the parliament session to gain confidence, the source said, this matter depends on mechanisms related to the parliament and its working contexts as it has completed the booth and will address accountability and justice regarding the candidates pending the holding of the parliamentary session, either this weekend or next week, expecting to vote on the government by a comfortable majority, despite the presence of protests from some political forces, not against the government or the person charged with forming it, but rather related to the nomination and selection mechanism. Next article of interest. Governmental Advisor delay in sending the general budget law due to procedural issues. Abdul Hussein al hanan advisor to the Prime Minister, attributed the delay in sending the general budget law to procedural issues. al hanan said in a statement that the general budget for the current year is almost completely completed and that there are some opinions calling for the postponement of the law being sent to the parliament until the government's vote is complete pointing out that the decision to postpone in order to make the new government amendments to the paragraphs of the budget. He added, that the news about the delay in approving the budget as a result of a large deficit or causes and information is inaccurate and naked. Next article of interest. A FATA member talks about Ulua's personal strength and confirms, 200 MPs will vote for his government. The deputy of the al fatah Hanin al qadu coalition confirmed on Tuesday that the Prime Minister-designate Muhammad Tafiq Alawi was able to obtain 200 votes for Saleh, which is likely to be held Thursday evening, indicating that Alawi's meeting with the heads of political blocs did not leak from him. Information, and this confirms that Alawi's personality is strong. al Kido said in a statement to Information that, the confirmed truth we have is that Prime Minister-designate Muhammad Tafiq Alawi has so far been able to persuade 200 or more deputies from various political forces to pass his government, stressing that, the voting session on the ministerial cabinet will take place on Thursday evening next. al Kidu added, Alawi's meeting with the heads of the political blocs did not result in any leaks, even to those close to him or from the heads of the blocs. And this is evidence of Alawi's personal strength by persuading the conferees to maintain the secrecy of the discussions and results. The deputy for the State of Law Coalition, Hai Nassif, revealed in a statement to slash the information, Today, Tuesday, the intention of Prime Minister-designate Muhammad Tafiq Alawi to send official books to the political forces and the Presidency of the Republic, including the names of the ministers nominated tomorrow, Wednesday indicating that deputies asked for 72 hours to study them. Next article of interest. Parliamentary Finance. The next chapter will witness the arrival of the Chinese agreement. Parliamentary Finance Committee confirmed, on Tuesday, that the next legislative term will witness the arrival of the Iraqi-Chinese agreement to the House of Representatives, stressing that Parliament had previously asked the government to send a copy of the agreement. Member of the committee, Siam al said in a statement to information that the House of Representatives asked the government to send a copy of the Chinese agreement in order to present it to the relevant parliamentary committees, noting that all agreements with any country must be enacted by law by the legislative authority. al added, such agreements must be regulated by a law issued by the legislature to monitor the implementation of the agreement stressing that, the upcoming legislative term will see the arrival of a copy of the agreement signed between Iraq and China to the House of Representatives. Hit the like and subscribe button to be alerted as more articles of interest are posted. Be sure to visit my Denarian blog, also check out my Facebook or Twitter for all of today's articles of interest as I post them on those platforms as well.
Pick up your free trial copy of the newly upgraded Currency Exchange Planner before you leave. Use the promo code, the Denarian, and get 25% off at checkout when you decide to unleash the full planner's abilities, along with the mobile application added free for being my subscriber. Register today as an affiliate with the Gold Savings Carrot Bar program. If you do not keep your savings in a real asset like gold, you risk everything as the fiat system fails and they boot up the new quantum financial system on the blockchain. Protect your family's wealth today in physical gold, as tomorrow may be too late. The program is made so everyone can afford to save in gold, by offering it one gram at a time. Start saving in a real true asset like gold, it's free to register and secure your family's savings tomorrow. Why do you think all the central banks are loading up on gold lately, and running from the current depreciating fiat US dollar? Do you think they do not know what is coming? Get yourself protected. Both of the links to these invaluable programs are available in the description box below this video, go check them out, knowledge is power, using that newfound knowledge is powerful. Over and out, for now, the Denarian.